First of all, I've always been skeptical of the ideas of white nationalism, of identitarianism, and white identity. However, I am an empiricist, and I could not help but notice that I could have peaceful, free, easy, civilized, and safe discussions in what is essentially an all-white country. The monoculture that has survived from the Middle Ages, through the Renaissance, through the Enlightenment, through the Industrial Revolution, into the 21st century in Poland is something to be treasured, respected, admired, and protected. The second thing I got from Poland is that the view of Poland from outside Poland, the ideological view, the leftist view, the collectivist view, that they're all Nazis and fascists and xenophobes and white nationalists and so on, is not only false, is not only wrong factually, it's wrong morally. These are good, decent people who love their country and have suffered enormously to retain its integrity. And they should be celebrated and honored, not slandered for some obscure, nefarious political purpose. That is wrong. The Poles are not guilty. And guilt has been so infused into the hearts and minds of Europeans and of whites that to see a shame-free and guilt-free culture, a resilient, strong culture that is resisting collectivism, is something that moved me more than I can probably ever express, but I hope is encapsulated in the footage that you're seeing in this documentary. White guilt is just a horribly profitable vending machine that people pound in order to get resources from largely white male taxpayers. And it's a horrible shakedown, and it's something that should be enormously resisted. And if you doubt as to why it should be resisted, look at Poland. Look at the glory, the celebration, the peace, the cleanliness. Everywhere I went, the streets are clean, the people are civilized. I did not see one drunk person, I did not see one fist fight, I did not see one crazy protester out there threatening violence because there are ideas that they don't agree with. What's not to love? about something like that. And the third and perhaps the most important thing I got from Poland was this is what a serious country looks like.